Hey guys, welcome to a, another edition of the Precision Laser and Instrument YouTube series. My name is Anthony Pascuzzi. I'm the Geospatial Training and Support Coordinator. And today we're actually going to be talking about something that's quite exciting, which is the release of Access 2020. And one feature inside of it in specific, which is something that a lot of people I think have asked for and something I wish was in it whenever I was in the field working, um, which is the uh, Snap2 feature uh, within the background map. So, so we're going to go ahead and open up this project here. And if you look in the properties of the job, you can see right here where it says active map. Now if I click on that, you can see that the we have a, uh, a DXF file listed here. If we expand this thing out, we can see all the different layers. And currently inside of here, if you don't have it checked, obviously it's not going to be visible. If you click on it once, you'll see a check mark. That means it's visible, but not active. And if we check on it again, we get this box around here showing that the map is now active. So we're going to make sure we have it set in active. We're going to hit accept, accept again, and we're going to open the job up. And now we can see here is our background map. Now before, before the Snap2 toolbar was, was here, we could go into the settings and we could scroll down and we can say create nodes. So if I turn on create nodes, now I had all of these points I could lay out uh, within that job and use them for different Kogo functions and whatnot, but be, mainly to go be able to lay out. Now, instead of having to turn on all those nodes, which we're going to go ahead and turn those back off, now we have the option to turn on a toolbar, which is called the Snap2 toolbar. What the Snap2 toolbar allows you to do is use these different snap commands in order to create individual nodes that you may want to use. So the first one at the top is the center of a line. So if I click on it, come to one of my lines, and tap on it, it's going to give me the, the node at the exact center of that line. If I wanted the endpoints, which is the second one, is the end snap, whichever line I click on, it's going to give me the closest endpoint. So now I have the center and two endpoints. And anytime I can click and hold, and I can tell it to create the points, or if I just tap on one and go ahead and start staking out, it will actually create it as a calculated point. If I don't like, if I don't want to keep these, I can just hit this negative and then they'll end up going away. The next one on the list is the intersection. So I can click here, go to the intersection of two lines. This is to lay out the points of intersection on a curve. And this one is to lay out the center of an arc. And the last one is to allow you to snap to the closest point. So if I, anywhere I want to tap on this particular line, I can snap and it will create a point there off that line. So that's a quick introduction into the Snap2 to toolbar. Um, definitely it's going to be something that's going to be very handy whenever it comes to construction staking on these DXF files and whatnot. And again, these are you know these are used within a, uh, a CAD DXF file that you can then import into your Access software. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.